This stretch of the River Thames with the unlikely name of Tuddle Dock has been a working part of the Port of London for nearly 2,000 years, ever since the Romans first tied their boats up here. Now, of course, it's being fully redeveloped. But 14 years ago, the shell of a bombed-out warehouse was transformed into a theatre which has become, over the years, another one of London's famous landmarks. The Mermaid Theatre was the dream of one man, Sir Bernard Miles. He built the prototype in his own back garden, but in 1959, the dream became substance, and since then, the Mermaid has served up a feast of theatre, ranging from Shakespeare and Shaw to James Joyce and Noel Coward. Sir Bernard Miles, actor, manager, and guiding genius of the Mermaid Theatre is a long way removed from Bernard Miles as the slightly Dickensian country character that most of us remember. Sir Bernard, you're primarily known and loved as an actor. What made you take on the responsibilities of starting this theatre? Well, I'd say an inflated ego, a uh, sense of power, and a determination always to be at the centre of every picture for as long as I could. What about slightly more philanthropic motives? No, I don't think you mean the philanthropic. Uh, well, I'm not philanthropic anyway. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a sort of um, erring Christian, and I think I'm, I think I'm my brother's keeper. A lot of things like that. But still, basically, this was the performer instinct and the wish to do something. I think the wish to do something with my life that was creative. What did you do with this theatre to overcome all the difficulties you saw in the other theatres? Well, I think it's. Um, I wanted to uh, do away with the orchestra pit and do away with the picture frame and return to a very basic relationship between actor and audience. A great French um, critic and philosopher, Diderot, uh, defined the theatre as three planks and a passion. And by that he meant if you put three planks up on top of beer boxes and then get up on it and tell a story, then you have there basically a theatre. What sort of policy do you have about the plays you perform here? Well, that's quite difficult. For the first ten years, the policy was... Um, I had to scull around to find a policy because other people had <laughs> grabbed the three policies going. Uh, down at the Royal Court, they were doing marvellous new plays. All the George Devine had launched the new drama uh, in a very brilliant way. And with Joan Littlewood up at this end, the east end of London. So I had to think... Th so the two planks of policy were um, to give a bird's-eye view of the world's drama in ten years. That was the first point. And secondly, to um, make a bridge between highbrow and lowbrow by way of understandability. What about the peripheral things you do in the theatre, like the pantomime you put on for the children? Well, um, yes, you know, which I think that the other thing which I think is necessary is that um, space in the world is now so valuable, so precious, that w one can't afford to keep a building empty all day. And uh, we do have um, shows, children's shows, often at half past ten in the morning, another one in the afternoon and then another one at five o'clock so that ideally a theatre should be being used all day. Warning. Keep clear of the target area once sunlight shines on pistol. Pistol may explode at any time. you've established a special rapport between your audiences here that perhaps you don't find in the West End? Well, I think it's uh, marvellous. It's, uh, that's, uh, that's what I said at the beginning where this ties up with the fact that it's a marvellous relationship. You can walk off the stage, as you can see by looking over my shoulder. Mm -hmm. So it's really the whole thing is taking place in one room instead of, as in the big commercial theatres, two separate rooms with a big peephole between. What about the future of the mermaid? What do you think will happen if you retire, if you ever do? I don't think um, it's dependent on me, really. I've got a marvellous team around me. I am, in a way, um, the energising factor, but um, we're going to have a new theatre here, 700-seater, I think, I hope. Sir Bernard Miles, may I wish you every success in the future? Mm. I'm sure it's going to be a marvellous new theatre. Thank you very much Thank indeed. Thank you, really. Thank you.